Alright, hey guys, um, I'm here to show you how MindWaves for Mac works. So, I'll give the link in the description to find MindWaves for Mac. Um, the only reason I'm bringing you this tutorial is because I have found that most tutorials for MindWaves are for PC, but also because MindWaves is now one of the newer ways to export worlds into 3D programs such as Maya or 3DS Max or maybe Cinema 4D. So um, after you download it, you'll have the folder here. I'll just open up this. This is where I keep it. I think. Yeah, Mindways Mac. It'll have the application, read me text explaining who created it. And it will give you three terrain options. It will give you this texture pack, this texture pack, and the regular texture pack. And then there's just a shell update uh, for every time you update the game, you need to update Mindways. So, you need to open up Mindways. Um, you need X11 on your Mac and also Xcode, I believe. So make sure you have those. So we open it and it brings up this little window. I'm going to just make this full screen. There we go. Um, so let's see. Is that excellent? <laughs> um, so you go to File, Open World, and you go and click Custom World. I don't know what this is, but you go, just for instance, you go to Application Support, Find Minecraft, go to Save, and open up any uh, random world. I'll open up Castle, and then click on level.dat and then it will load your world up. So here's this world. Um, I'm planning on using it for something. So, I know that there's a jungle biome here, but it doesn't look like you can see it. So let's see. Let's select this coastline. So to do that, you don't left click, you right click. Just like that. There we go. Um, and then what you want to do is select train PNG for export. So, you saw that folder from earlier. You want to go to your desktop. Um, for me, I have it stored in top secret. Open that, Minecraft. Then go to the Mindways folder. Pick whichever train you want. I could pick the Quandary, Misa, or just the regular. I'm going to go with default. So we have that. And now we can either export model for rendering or we can export the model for 3D printing. So render. Um, I want this to be saved to the desktop. Let's save this as YouTube test for my way. Save. This will pop up. Leave it as it is. And just hit OK. So now it's exporting it. And you will get these files. You'll get a couple of PNGs. The one file you'll want is your OBJ file. So I'm going to go here to Autodesk Maya. Um, that's just a project I'm working on right now. Drag it, drop it, don't say it. And look, there's our world from um, Mindways. So we can zoom in here. It's fully textured, which is the great thing about it. Um, so there's no texturing that we need to do beforehand. I mean, after we put it in. Um, if you take a render image, it looks okay. You might see some lines. Huh, this one look, actually looks really nice. 
Um, see, like, right down over here, you see lines. Um, but anyways, you can do anything with this. And the great thing is it sorts out each different thing. If I select one grass block, it selects all grass blocks in the scene. If I select leaves, it selects all the leaves. If I select sand, sand, water, water. It really helps out with the animation. Um, that is probably because Eric Haynes works at Autodesk. Um, it really works well with Autodesk Maya and 3DS. Um, little cave system. And what it also does to save room is it will hollow out the inside. Now, I have to say the one bad thing about Final Ways as an export is that the blocks aren't really blocks. They're more just the outlines of blocks. Um, but anyways, that's all you do for MindWave to export your world. Um, you can do things to make sure you don't delete your world. Um, you can make your world bigger by selecting that. Smaller. Bigger. But uh, yeah. You can really do anything here. I'm going to ex import, not export. Import. Let's import... Desktop, top secret, Minecraft, animation, rigs, Minecraft, scenes, character one view. Okay, so obviously this guy's too big. Let's just make him smaller. To zoom into him. Still too big. So, we'll just make you a little more smaller. What? Now he's flying through space. Alright, so there he is on the sand. Um, let's see, window, rendering, hypershade. <sighs> wow, this is taking a while. Um, so we'd go to Lambert 1, color, make sure it's not on dynamic. Find the skin that you want. I'll use my skin right now. Um, close that. You see that he's right there. You can zoom in. And render. And this is what it will look like. Oh, wow. Doesn't look too good yet. But, uh, that's of course because it's not on. Oh, needs to be on mental ray. Let's redo that. And the light will look a little too bright. Um, you can add in lights to make it look different. But um, as we see, it looks all good. The sand actually looks better in the render view. All this blurring will go away. So uh, yeah, that concludes my tutorial on how to use MindWaves in exporting files to Autodesk Maya and Cinema 4D. So I will see you all later. Bye guys.